actually the reason for, for spreading all four concertos by Rachmaninoff out like this is because I, I needed the time. <laughs> you know, these are really huge pieces and, and each of them so different and with such different challenges technically, musically, in terms of understanding this, this great music and I just needed the time for it. It was such a big deal for me to do uh, Rachmaninoff III 15 years ago. Uh, I played it two or three years um, and I felt ready for doing it, but I've, I've changed so much and I, I feel that I've changed and my relationship to the piece has changed and um, I felt I could do a recording with much more contrasts. Tony Papano for, for quite a while now and what's first always so impressive with Tony is the, the dedication you know before we have done any rehearsal with the orchestra because we meet and we go through the piece and he's so involved he has so many wonderful thoughts and ideas but also in addition to that you, 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 f you find hardly anybody who can accompany like that who can breathe with you Obviously, he has, he has um, been an opera conductor for so long as well, so he has lived with, with breathing with other people on stage. Um, so he's, he's a very strong personality, but also follows like nobody else. The fourth concerto is for me tremendously underrated and it is so surely because the second and third concerto has become so popular um, and the other reason being that it's very difficult to perform I think. It's difficult not only for the pianist but very difficult for the conductor and for the orchestra and when people don't know it they get scared of it and then they end up not performing it so well and then the audience thinks that oh this is the weaker of the graph minor concertos and that's so unfair because it's very very different and very special and i think it's a much more 20th century rap mine enough it doesn't maybe have the long long sweeping melodic lines of the second and the third but it has so much else and uh, the jazzy harmonies 
kind of mystical quality, the restless character. And it's so exciting, the dance in the, in, in the last moment. You know, when I was 19, 20 years old, I had these kind of visions uh, for my life that there were certain things I had to play. Uh, I remember thinking the Beethoven concertos, I have to play all five of them. And the Rachmaninoff concertos, I have to play the four of them. Uh, this, is, this is music which is very important for me. And um, here I am, 20 years after, and I've done them all.